Hi, I'm Paul Culliver from The Inquiry. Today's history lesson is how Channel 31 came to get a digital TV license. Channel 31, or as it's known in Rome, Channel XXXI, first started broadcasting across Melbourne in 1994. The same year the Cranberries became zombies, Australian phone numbers became eight digits long, and John Wood began the most unsuccessful Logie campaign with the debut of a small town Victorian cop show, Blue Healers. In 2001, digital TV began. Unfortunately, Australian law did not contain any reference to the idea of community TV, and so Parliament's digital legislation left Channel 31 behind on analogue. In a similar problem, no Australian politician had sex until 1963, when sex was first codified into law. Nowadays, politicians' candid discussions on the topic make many people regret this progress. Now, finally, in 2002, the law recognised community TV, and in 2004, Channel 31 was granted a community television licence. For 10 years, Channel 31 had been broadcasting as a temporary narrowcaster, or, if you'd like to be incorrect but sassy, pirate television. Negotiations for C31 to go digital began. Now, the broadcast airwaves are a valuable commodity to the federal government, and they wanted to get the best value out of it. So Channel 31 had to convince the bureaucrats that it belonged on TV, not next to cute pandas and Susan Boyle on YouTube. In November 07, the digital campaign encountered a setback when in the great federal parliament game of musical chairs, John Howard lost his seat, the government changed, and Channel 31's negotiations had to start all over again. In November 2009, finally, Channel 31 got the announcement they'd been waiting for. They were going digital. The success can be attributed to three things. The Fair Go Kev campaign, the debut of my brilliant TV program, The Inquiry, and Channel 31 general manager Richard McClellan's less publicised snowboarding junket with communications minister Stephen Conroy. But to make sure we've got all the right cords, cables, buttons, dials and knobs to give you quality digital television, we need your help and more importantly, your money. Seriously, if we don't sort this, the debt collectors are going for Vasily's garden first. So give generously, because I like vegetables and love Channel 31.